The Dewoitine D520 is a French fighter aircraft introduced into active service in the early stages of the Second World War, around 1940. The development of the D520 was prompted by a 1936 request from the French Air Force, seeking a swift and contemporary fighter that boasted excellent climbing capabilities and a primary armament centered around a 20mm cannon. What interesting distinction did the Dewoitine D520 hold among its contemporaries during World War II? 1. It was the only French fighter aircraft equipped with a turbocharged engine. 2. It had the highest top speed of any fighter aircraft in Europe at that time. 3. It was the first fighter plane in the world to use a bubble canopy for improved visibility. At the time the most powerful V-12 liquid-cooled engine available in France was the Hispano Suiza 12Y, which was less powerful, but lighter than contemporary engines such as the Rolls-Royce Merlin and Daimler-Benz DB601. Other fighters were designed to meet the specifications but none of them entered service, or entered service in small numbers, too late to play a significant role during the Battle of France. Unlike the Moraine Saulnier, MS-406, which was at that time the most numerous fighter in the French Air Force, the Dewoitine D520 came close to being a match for the latest German types, such as the Messerschmitt Bf 109. It was slower than the Bf 109E but superior in maneuverability. Because of production delays, only a small number were available for combat against the Germans. The D520 proved to be relatively capable as a dogfighter against the Germans' inventory but lacked sufficient numbers to make a difference. Following the armistice of 1940, the D520 continued to be used, being operated by both the Free French Air Force and the Vichy French Air Force. The type was also returned to production during 1942, although it was manufactured at a lower rate than it had been during 1940. Additional examples were operated by the Germans, Italians, and the Bulgarian Air Force. The D-520 saw combat service in North Africa, Bulgaria, and the Eastern Front, as well as use in France and Germany for training and defense purposes. During the type's later life, it was used as a trainer aircraft. On September 3, 1953, the last D-520s were finally withdrawn from service. In 1939, after the initial prototype, two more examples of the D520 were introduced, the D520-02 and the D520-03, taking their maiden flights on January 9, 1939, and May 5, 1939, respectively. Notable variations between the first prototype and the second and third models included the incorporation of a new sliding canopy for better visibility, the use of a redesigned and larger tail unit, and the installation of longer oleo-manufactured undercarriage legs. Correct answer, 3. If you enjoy these types of videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. It will help YouTube algorithm to serve more viewers like you. Thank you.